So yeah. it's called yeah. correctly either an eastern fox squirrel um, or a um, southern yeah. fox squirrel. And people don't know what he is, and some think he's a weird mutant raccoon. <laughs> he looks like a different color. Yeah. The most common color is this gray, with the little white muzzle and the little white feet, and the little mask. But some of them are black, with just the little white on them. Some of them, I have even seen greenish, cream, kind of creamy color. So um, they do have color variations, but yes, Eastern Fox Squirrel or Southern Fox Squirrel. And it really is fun to see them, and we are really lucky to have them. Because you will not have an animal in the area unless its needs are met. And its needs for the fox squirrel, as others, is first of all to have a food source, to have water, and have a safe place to raise the babies. And uh, fox squirrels are loaded with food around here. They just are happy plants, I tell you, because we have pine cones. And they eat pine nuts, and we have acorns, and we eat the acorns. And because we keep things cleared out, like golf courses. Does anybody play golf? You see them out on the golf course? Do you? Haven't seen them out on the golf course? They usually love golf courses because they're cleared out. They don't like a lot of underground. They won't come out. All right. So. We're going to get the reptile out first. Next going first. We're going to get the reptile. So we have Indian South Carolina right here looking. Can you name what's the one kind of reptile besides the alligator? It's snake. Oh, yeah, you betcha. Snake. We have 40 different kinds of snakes in South Carolina. Four zero, four zero. All right. Not a roll. <laughs> What's another kind of reptile? Kind of one that people think are slow, but they really aren't as slow as they appear to be. Starts with a T. Tail turtle. You got it. All right, one more. Starts with an L. She's going to see her stick her
Because they can do that snaky thing. <laughs> that they can survive usually around 20 years wow. without mm -hmm. arms and legs. <laughs> but they can do the snaky thing because they have a lot of bones in the backbone. They've got about 400 bones in the backbone. Matching ribs. And then the rest is muscle. So yes, this is a constructor, a squeezer, <laughs> and that's what helps catch her prey. Absolutely. So she can twist all around, just as you see her here, and um, that's that's how she walks and how she moves around, and that's her whole life. I know we've got people who want to touch today, and I'm going to let you touch her, but we have to follow some rules. There are not many of us in this program, and so we all handle the animals the same way, and when we have touching, we have that so first of all, I'm going to keep her head away from you because anything with a mouth can bite. <laughs> Snakes have a mouth <laughs> and inside of their mouth they have teeth. So I will keep her head away from you and then I want you to take just two fingers and pet her on her back, front to back, like that. Very, very gently, just as if she's a little one-day-old baby kid. <laughs> and that's what she's used to. And so she'll be very comfortable with that. Now, if you touch her, you have a job to do as part of touching her today. And that is, give me and us a word that tells us how she feels. Okay. So... Don't say good, <laughs> but tell how she feels when you touch her. And I'll come around to you, okay? You don't have to touch her, but anybody who does, um, after the You're going to touch? Mm -hmm. You are. Margo's going to do it. <laughs> Jacob's out. <laughs> Some snakes, like fine snakes, have really rough snakes. No, I don't know. Okay. 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 It feels squishy. Good, that's a good description. And that, that's a good term because she's soft, isn't she? And that's because you follow directions and she's perfectly happy with having you touch her. If she becomes unhappy, she, her muscles will tighten up and she'll feel hard. You want to touch over there? Don't have to. All right. Yes, yes, she sure does. Big kids don't have to. Don't touch. Don't have to. Don't touch. 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 Slimy. Good. Good. Snakes don't feel slimy. Toads do. Frogs do. But snakes? Hey, my one touch down here? Come on over. Um, but she but snakes are not slimy at all. It's like very bumpy. Bumpy. All right. Got another one. All right. 
Anybody have the big kids? I don't know how you describe that. She, she feels. I was, I was going to say nobody has said cool. Uh, oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, temperature yeah. cool. I expected it to feel more scaly, but it does. She's still kind of warm from being on the heat lamp, but sometimes she really feels temperature-wise. Well, they don't hibernate, but they go into a state of torque, which means they come out when it's warm weather. But she's very comfortable. going to show another one. I'm not going to keep her out for a long but she was she's about to go up and see they're not sitting there. <laughs> <laughs> they know where it's going. Absolutely. What? So. Right there. You'll see. What good is it saying? I'm real proud of you. Nobody got up and walked away. Sometimes people get up and walk away. So what's her job in the world? You bet you it's what she eats. Now, sometimes snakes eat on different things. We usually think of mice. So, her job is she's in charge of rodent control in her, in her area. But some snakes climb trees and eat bird eggs and baby birds, and that's a call. They tend to love baby birds and things. But it's all part of the balance of nature. I know you did it. It's all part of the food chain. There's even a snake called an Eastern King snake that will eat other snakes. So if you want a, a snake, a really good snake to have in your backyard, you want an Eastern King snake. Because not only will an Eastern King snake, I know you don't want a snake in your backyard, <laughs> but not only will an Eastern King snake eat others, just plain other snakes, will also eat because of the 40 different kinds of snakes we have in South Carolina, we have right what? here in Brooklyn, South Carolina. six Why of them not? are venomous. Mm -hmm. And venomous is the correct word. Snakes are not poisonous, they are venomous. So you look at this sweet little face, but they don't. And you say, but the other ones don't. This dear little thing, she has a little mouth, get a snake. Or oh, an egg or a mouse <laughs> in its <laughs> mouth. Its mouth should be very wide. And really, you know, if you and I were built the way a snake is, you and I could get a football that big. <laughs> <laughs> but we're not built like that. I have, I have trouble with those. Do you ever get one of those double whammy? Thing. <laughs> I can't get that thing in my mouth. I have to dissect it. <laughs> but every creature has ways double of surviving. <laughs> and certainly this mouth that the snake has with a really long connecting bone. You can open your mouth 180 degrees. She knows what will fit. Just want to go see the butterfly. And can handle it just fine. So when I take her back to where she lives, it's, it's, her, it's her dinner day, and she will have three mice. Wow. Mm. Mm. That and um, she'll eat them all if she's hungry. One eat, that's one that's two. Now, we don't feed live prey to any of our carnivores, because meat eaters are carnivores. Um, there are companies that supply frozen mice and rats to institutions and zoos such as we are. We lovingly nickname it Mice on Ice. We <laughs> them out, and our carnivores are used to that. So our snakes 
which are not from the wild. We don't go out in the wild and capture any animals for a zoo or for these programs. Um, have always been uh, fed a certain way, and um, so they don't even strike as a rule unless they're really, really hungry. They just know that's food and that's what they get, and they don't need to strike or wrap around them and, and or anything of that nature. Can you see her nostrils? Can you? It's kind of hard with with uh, <laughs> with her coloring. But can you see? She has two eyes and she has two little nose holes. Hard to tell. Hard to tell. But she has no sense of smell with her nostrils. They're just for breathing and they are <coughs> no good in the sniffing department because the tongue does <coughs> all of the sniffing. And every time her little tongue is coming out, she's picking up molecules of moisture and air. And every time the little tongue goes back in her mouth, it hits a special gland on the roof of her mouth. It's called a Jacobson's organ. You and I don't have that Jacobson's organ because we have a very good sniffing machine right here. But the Jacobson's organ in a snake is what reports to her brain. And hmm. <laughs> She could hand coffee if she wanted to. <laughs> <laughs> really tightened up, but she won't. She knows me. So, snakes are good to have around. But, they do have a mouth, they do have teeth. Some of them are venomous. This one obviously is not. She's a scarlet king snake. So if you see a snake here in Brooklyn or anywhere that's out in the wild, don't go up to it and think you're going to be able to pick it up the way this, I can with this one. She's been used to this since she was that big. But in the wild, even, even if it's a non a snake, if it's is frightened, or if you step on it accidentally or something, it's a bite. But it will try to get away from you first. But it will bite if it has to. Excuse me. Do they eat? No. They, they don't. That's a good question. They eat the whole mouse. So yes, they are getting hair and bones and everything, because this uh, that's just the way the mouse comes. They can't bite <laughs> <laughs> they don't, they don't eat bones and they don't go out and eat a bone that might be out in the field or something. But they eat it because it's inside the mouse. Any other questions? She is a beautiful snake, isn't she? So would you say she has a lot of camouflage or not? Yeah. She doesn't want to get off of <laughs> You're warm. Does she have a lot of camouflage? No. No. Because no. when we think of camouflage, we think of colors that blend in. Like a copperhead, which is a venomous snake, will blend in with leaves. They just blend in. And a water moccasin uh, or a cotton mouth will blend in with mud and so forth. So in that sense, no. But in the sense of being red and black and, and yellowish, yes. Because what she is doing is pretending to be a venomous snake. We have copperheads, we have corals, we have several kinds of rattlesnakes, and we have coral snakes. Coral snakes are the same color. They are venomous. They are a member of the cobra family. The same colors 
but slightly different order. So if you see them side by side, you know which is which. But if you see that red color out in the wild, stay away. Red in nature very often means stop, just like a stoplight or a stop sign. And so while she doesn't blend in, she's a warning by her color, by her color. Can you think of any animals, like a, a mammal, a sweet little warm-blooded mammal, that color protects them? That's not much of a clue, <laughs> but the first letter is S. The second letter is K. Skunk. Skunk. <laughs> animals, and we're animals. Learn pretty fast that that little black and white striped kitty is one to stay away from. <laughs> Absolutely. All right, let's talk about the bird, unless you have any questions. So, I'll give you 